Hey, Mark Fitzpatrick here. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Right back at it. I'm at a, a condo building checking one out for a client before we sell it over here in North Bethesda. But look at this. Sometimes locks don't work as you're supposed to, right? This key does not turn, right? Right? Nothing. Nothing, right? It's in, right? Let's put it in. But with a little pullback and wiggle, I got it. <laughs> But you don't want that when someone's trying to get in here because they're gonna get frustrated and they're already gonna have the mindset that there's something wrong with the unit, even though it's just a lock and a key and it can be fixed. So the initial impression is important. So that was uh, the little takeaway from that. I gotta get that smooth along with all the other stuff in here that we're gonna do. That's gotta be taken care of. Simple, but important. I'm going in through some more detail right now all throughout, but again, I wanted to go out to this terrace level and I can't get the sliding screen door open. That's another little item that has to be fixed. Let's do a quick tour of this unit and just some of the things that would stick out. That's one of them we gotta fix, simple. The front door lock, simple. When you come in, I think the biggest thing we could do is, is change lighting. This flooring really in the kitchen is dated and old. And then you have this really not appealing carpet. So if we can get this flooring uniform throughout that will be a big shift along with some some paint, some colors. Those are the biggest two items right now. It's a simple thing, we might change the hardware on these doors because they're just dated. Uh, I'm looking for all these little things right now. Like these are, these are swinging fine and not falling off, right? That's simple, but that's something I look for. If we come into this bathroom, the toilet was, was running, so I just shut the water off, but we have just very dated, dated faucet, countertop. This is all the standard stuff that was been here. The biggest thing we could do in this bathroom, um, I would say money-wise is to leave the tub and the shower tiles alone. These are fine, but possibly get rid of this tile and put a larger 12 by 24 tile. It'll make it look a lot bigger, more appealing. So that's that. Now we'll go over to the laundry. Like you can just see right here, how this flooring right here as simple as it is, it's just more appealing than this carpet. So we can get rid of that. I don't think we need to do anything in here other than get rid of this. This looks newer and looks fresh and then together they just don't look very good. So if we can get a new dryer, I would say this hardware is even probably fine. So that's it. We'll come in here. Again, we've got to spruce the outside up so it's appealing. And, and this is where it would be debatable about what we could do. Do we want to do a, a large walk-in shower and get rid of some of this? Is this, this is just not appealing for people anymore, so that's the question. Definitely the, the 12 by 24 tiles here will make this unit really pop. There's a number of bulbs, so many bulbs in this bathroom, old school bulbs. If, I feel like I'm getting ready to go and do a performance, so I'm gonna go get my makeup on. My makeup person's coming right here, and then we're gonna go out and do a live show. <laughs> so we're gonna change this this is not uh, unless somebody that wanted to buy it is uh, into performing then this will be their bathroom so <laughs> but I think we're gonna change it in here the flooring the carpet throughout look take a look at this right here this is so if you take the flooring right here against that wall you see I open up this closet and they've actually got this right tell me which one looks better so imagine if this this right here was flowing throughout instead of this carpet in this kind of hospital, mental institution white that's throughout. So that's the biggest shift we could do is, is the color and the flooring without going crazy and some of the lighting updates and uh, some of the fixtures in the bathrooms. But we'll have to talk about the overall budget as to whether or not it's um, gonna be feasible for some additional things that I think would be valuable, but may not be desirable for them to do budget-wise. Uh, we can have flooring that sort of works a little bit more, a little bit more updated, larger tile. Countertop is is not my favorite, but it's fine. The cabinets are, are, are fine as well too, but maybe we can, uh, we can just brighten this up in here, make some changes. Not gonna make sense to do any more here, opening this up, because you have that opening, uh, but we'll, we'll look at a few options. Um, a little idea about Things that we have to look at before we get this ready to go on the market, day after Thanksgiving, 
And let's see if we can get out of here without destroying this thing. There we go. Ah, right? That's not what you want to have happen. But look at this. You don't have this in many condos. This kind of space, not, not, not in this condition, right? This is valuable right now. And we can make this look incredible because this space right now in what happened with Corona-19 is extremely important for people. It's rare that you actually get this kind of space. Where are we? We're, we're here, right? Executive Boulevard, Nicholson Lane, and two blocks from Whole Foods. So the location is prime, but this terrace, if it had some, uh, some appeal to it, is incredible for someone looking at condos now. You either wanna have a terrace like this or you wanna have a, a balcony of at least some sorts. And back here is the pool, but still private behind here. So if you have a doggy, right, and a lot of people do, you open up this and you walk right out here, right? That's a huge plus. Keep an eye out for this. If uh, you are interested in a condo with a massive terrace like this, let me flip this around again. It's gonna be prettied up in your own little gate. Message me, message me early. We're gonna be getting this place ready to go. All this will be working smoothly. Keep it in mind, have a great day, and we'll show you the end result here of this unit before we go live and give you one more chance to take a look at it. Hope you have a great day, awesome. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see the rest of the videos in this condo renovation project from start to finish until we take it live for sale, then click over here, subscribe or down below wherever it is, and we'll see you on the next video.